Ahoy, Let's Watchers! It's me, your valiant Captain Vasco. In the last episode, we started Spider-Man Noir, Act 1, and it did not go so well. As I mentioned, it was pretty much to be expected. And, uh, as I mentioned towards the end of the last episode, uh, I've sort of been glossing over this whole Web of Destiny thing that's sort of important to the gameplay. So let's take a look at the challenges that we are able to see but have not yet accomplished. So, we got Whispers in the Dark, which is to take down three people using the close-up takedown. That's the one I was talking about that I've been trying to do. It's been going super poorly up till now. Uh, Headstrong, that is uh, completing the halfway boss. Spider's Bite, performed 20 takedowns. We're already over halfway there. Uh, Night Off, that involves a section pretty close to the end of the episode more civilians. Uh, Gatling Gun also involves a sort of in-boss challenge for the half-boss. Uh, Stealthy, that's the five takedowns in a row. That's the one that's gonna give me an aneurysm or something. And Emblem Co Collector. Corrector. Emblem Corrector. Uh, that's the obligatory get a bunch of spider emblems. Now... Uh, in my practice playthroughs, I've managed to get this level done in, like, a half an hour. And I'm doing pretty poorly so far. So let's let's see if we can pick up the pace. Try and get this done you in, like, 40 minutes or something. Uh, oh yeah, we also ended the last episode with that MF'er. And he was making me very cross. He's, gotta be he was, here. No, he's just gonna see me if I do that. So let's hop up here. Nope, 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 not, no. Spotlight, no. Dishwasher, no. Ooh. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. I like this one. Oh boy! Perch takedown. Alright, so that's one in a row. Who else is here? There's at least one guy in this courtyard, right? By the way, in case you haven't noticed, I, I spend most of my Spider-Man Noir gameplay with my spider sense on. Hidden spider over here by this... I don't know, oil tanker or something? I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't think there's any emblems over here, but I don't want to miss them. There's nothing over here. It's like one emblem on this wall. And one up by this door, which is our link to the next room. I went to walking cutscene. If you, you watched Fable 3, you know how much I love walking cutscenes. He's cut tearing the place apart, uh, freeing the hostages, ripping the gates up, knocking out the guys. Scooping That's up the so. field mice and bopping them on the head. Holy. Told them not to tell me. All right now. Time to step it up. Spider! You out there? You hear me? Somehow this one. Well, the ones like this one. I think there's more of them. Uh, somehow these walking cutscenes that actually have a vague amount of story development to them bother me more than the sections. Uh, you may have, you may recall from the Craven level that there are, I think there were like two sections where you just like the camera suddenly did this this forced perspective thing and like you couldn't do any normal controls and you had to sort of slowly walk to the next like plot point essentially for some reason these ones where there's like also something going on they bother me more because it feels like they're trying to trap me into watching a cutscene that I would have happily watched if they had just cut to it the fact that they like give me control for no reason makes me anxious or something Thanks for the vote of confidence. Shit. Yeah. Thanks, Hammerhead. Go climb up your dumb. Sorry, fellas. I'm about to prove him right. Ah, uh, yes. There's some There's some really delightful 30s colloquialisms. Go climb up your thumb? Not a clue. No idea where that comes from. Uh, right. So here we are in a large room full of people that I need to still take down. So let me take a quick look back at my Web of Destiny. And the things that I still need to do are several stealth takedowns in a row, and the close-up takedowns. Now, these two don't play nice together, because by trying to do the close-up takedowns, I will ruin my streak of, uh... Yeah? Let's see how tough uh, they my are. My streak of uninterrupted takedowns, or however you want to call them. 
So let's focus on them one at a time. There should be... Hmm. I think it's probably easier to try to get the close-up takedowns handled here first. They're, they're, they're difficult to perform in open areas. There we go. Nail that insect. Well, He's right there. as I said, I've ruined my chain of uninterrupted hey, takedowns, but I do have my first close-up takedown, so I'll take that trade. I should get up to the rafters. It's a little song about how I should get up to the rafters. Here's a spider emblem. Gonna want that later. Make a nice dessert for, I don't know, 1930s crime fighting? Wow, that was... Obscene. Sorry, Pally. I have no idea how any of that just happened. How I web zipped, like standing in front of that man, or how he didn't detect me even with his weird heightened noir vision. But I will accept it because, good lord, do I hate doing close up takedowns. So now I only need to do one more close up takedown because of that sh nonsense. Uh, let's pick my battles. Who do I want to get rid of? Kinda like this guy. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Is there a dude over here? Not really. Do walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up. Press the button. Yes, got him. And I believe that's two in a row. Yeah, it's two takedowns in a row. So now, hopefully, I can try and take down the rest of the dudes in this room without getting fancy. I think I've taken care of all of the do a specific type of takedown challenges. What's this last guy? Express delivery. Oh, that's another section very close to the end of the level. Eh? Takedown. Wow, I did not think I was taking that guy down. I assumed I was taking down the much closer guy. But sure, I'll do a couple of takedowns in a row. Now I just need one more. Can I get up to the rafters from here? Because that's probably the easiest way to take down that guy. Uh, let's hop over there. My, my out loud thought process for this must be riveting for you guys. So, yeah, sorry about that, I guess. Am I close enough to take this guy down? Oh, I really wish I was. Let's... Oh, and he turned around. I was just about to jump over there. I wasn't sure where he was going to turn. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, rapid takedown for the win. So now we've gotten stealthy and the up close and personal, or whatever the heck the other thing is called. Uh, challenge is accomplished in the same room, like a boss. Not like a midway boss, because we haven't gotten there yet. So just the one dude left in here? Also, spider things? Did I get all of them? Let's just do a quick run around the room. There's one in that corner. I already got the one in the other corner of the room. Ah, there's one over there. I thought I was missing. Oh, and I missed that one, too. Glad I didn't try to beat this room before I did that. I think I still have access to this room after taking the last guy down, but there's a little cutscene, so I'm not 100% sure of that. Uh, actually, I don't remember if I've ever gotten this one before. Uh, you're looking the wrong way. Both ways before getting beaten up by Spider-Man Noir. The more you know. Oh, where did everybody go? Uh, this doesn't look good. All right. So, there's that mini cutscene I mentioned. I'm pretty sure I've cleaned this room out of anything I care about. So let's hop to it. See, this is the thing I was talking about before. These ones I don't mind so much, even though they're also pretty dumb. Just sort of a forced break from the action. If you want to do a cutscene, just go to a cutscene and understand what that's about. Whoa! You think you can take me? Come on and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Whoa, whoa, that's... That seems a little personal, don't you hey, think, Hammerhead? What a go I don't think you should be asking me questions Trust like that. It'll only take one. Find cover. All right, so here we are. If you haven't figured it out, this is our halfway boss. Hammerhead is the jerk du jour, and uh, 
Gatling guns are his forte to try and use more pseudo-impressive French. If you're wondering why I'm running back and forth like an idiot on cocaine, that's because that is a Web of Destiny challenge. There's a challenge called... Oh, heck if I remember. Called something about columns. And the goal is to have him shoot up six columns. Two down. Let's see if I can hit him once. It's very difficult. Alright, I'm doing this in the wrong order. You only need to hit him three times because Hammerhead... Sorry, I'm a little focus on trying to stay in the shadows. Uh, the the Spider-Man noir villains are not about, like, beating them up the way most of the Spider-Man villains are, at least in this game. Uh, they're, they're sort of puzzle-based in a way. It's all about finding the right way and moment to attack them. Always gotta attack Whoa. from the So in the case of Hammerhead, he's he's pretty straightforward by Noir rules. Uh, in this first fight, you just wanna stay in the shadows and sneak up behind him and pretty much do a, a typical stealth takedown. The only difference being he's like actively looking for you, and he's got sort of an advantage of he's in the center of this 360 degree vantage point, and uh, it's much harder for you to try and uh, evade him. Like you can't, you can't just like walk up next to him on the wall because he'll 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 keep spinning around looking for you. And uh, you've got to, well, as, as I suggested before, you got to find your your moment and your method to strike. Now I'm not entirely sure if it's necessary to do this the way that I'm doing it to try and force him to shoot the columns. But from my experience, if you if you just get him to shoot in one direction and like stand here. He'll, he'll be shooting to one side Avoid of the, the column and not actually hit the column itself. And obviously, to destroy the column, you're going to want him to shoot the column. That's how you get it destroyed. Guns equal destruction. Oh, I got caught on something, and that is a very powerful machine gun. Uh, oh. Uh. Oh, yeah, okay. Wasn't sure if he had spotted me. Let's get him looking over here. Then try and make him give up. I like the weird, quirky, searching noise he makes. Whoop! 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 It's very cartoony for some reason. Definitely want to be careful about how you approach, too. So from my experience, if you walk up quickly behind him, you'll, you're much more likely to cause him, oh god, much more likely to cause him to detect you, just like if you're trying to perform a, uh, a close-up takedown, how, like, if you run near those guys, they'll, like, almost certainly spot you, which is probably the reason I got detected those first, like, six times I tried to do that earlier on. Uh, did I get him to destroy all the columns? I'm not even paying close attention. I'm so focused on nothing, it's helpful. This is the one, right? Gatling gone. Okay, I need two more columns destroyed, and here is one of them. Hi there! I heard you don't like columns. So, once this one's destroyed, this will be our fifth column. I'd make a, uh, a V jump, but I'm pretty sure that my roommate and I are the only people who would get that joke. Because I don't think anyone else watched the reboot of V. Well, at least not past, like, the pilot, when Alan Tudyk got killed off. And then he got, like, resurrected one or two episodes later, and then killed off again. Yeah, okay. Gatling gone completed. Which means it's time to take this guy down. So the trick is you have to you have to stay behind cover. These back these heavy pillars in the back I don't think can be destroyed. At least certainly not as easily as the uh, the ones surrounding his like wherever you railroad turntable gatling gun concoction. 
So you want to stay behind cover until he makes his like silly it's whooping noise. Oh, very close. Here we go. Take him down. And once he starts no searching for you, please, you gotta stick please. to the shadows until I you can get behind him and pull off the enough, uh, huh? stealth takedown. Now hand over that rock. Sucker. Oh, cheap shot. So yeah, um, from the cutscenes in the various Spider-Man noir levels. I have to be honest, Spider-Man Noir does not seem like a particularly exciting hero. He He's easily duped by Hammerhead, I think twice, in one level. Like, just there he was sort of like, Oh, I'm gonna give myself up! Oh, well, you better, cause justice and stuff! And then he just gets, like, conked in the head. Like, it's like the worst superhero ever. That, that's like Aquaman territory of lame. Uh, anyway, having taken out the midway boss, and not being nearly far enough along for my liking, uh, let's call this one an episode, and uh, once again we'll try and pick up the pace a little further next time. But we're catching up to where I want to be. Uh, I'll see you guys all next time, and I hope you're enjoying things. And don't forget to mention in the comments if you have a preference in the order I accomplish the Spider-Man levels in each act. Otherwise I'm probably just going to do them from left to right. Which I think always goes, uh, Amazing Noir Ultimate 2099. Anyway, uh, leave comments and stuff, you're cool people, and, uh, keep watching my videos, you can like and subscribe and do all the cool stuff, and, uh, I'll be here making more videos for you very soon. I hope you like them, love you, bye!